Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be installing Fedora Linux 40 and having it set up as a dual boot with Windows. Red Hat is used quite a bit in the enterprise environment, so if you're not comfortable with Red Hat, you can use Fedora to get a bit familiar with it, as the best way to learn something is to immerse yourself with it. So let's get started with the system requirements. System requirements, hardware with a 40 gigabyte SSD and four gigabytes of RAM is recommended for Fedora workstation. Going into disk management, I have a 32 gigabyte USB drive to put the Fedora install media on and my C drive, I am going to shrink it by 40 gigabytes to make room for Fedora. Okay, so there's 40 gigabytes here. And going back, I'm going to now download Fedora Linux. Going to fedoraproject.org and the latest release 40. Download now. And I'm going to use the Fedora Media Writer to do this. Just click on download. Now open it up. And I'll install it. Run it. All right, Fedora Media Writer is running and I'm going to download the ISO. Next. The official edition, Fedora Workstation, next. And latest version, 40, Intel AMD, and my USB drive that I have connected. It's a 32 gigabyte USB drive. And as we can see here in disk management, this is the drive that it's gonna be writing it to. I'm gonna delete download after writing, download and write. All right, now it's writing Fedora to my USB drive. Now it's checking the written data. All right, it's successfully written to my USB drive. I'm gonna hit finish. Now I'm going to reboot my computer and go into the BIOS to ensure it'll boot the USB drive. All right, I'm in the BIOS, I'm gonna to go to boot. And I have here boot option number one, which is my USB drive. So that is good. So it's going to boot from it. And going to save and exit, I also have an option for a one-time boot if I want to. All right, it's booted into the install media. And so I'm going to start Fedora Workstation Live. I'm at the welcome screen. I'm going to install Fedora. Select the language, English. I'm going to select installation destination. And I'm going to select my existing drive. So there's storage configuration, automatic, custom, and advanced custom. So you can customize the partitions and the sizes, or you could just leave as automatic and it'll create the necessary partitions and the sizes accordingly for you. And I'm going to leave it as automatic. I'm going to hit done, begin installation. All right, Fedora is now successfully installed and ready for you to use. Go ahead and reboot your system to start using it. I'm gonna finish installation. And now I'm going to reboot and then go into the BIOS to check the boot order. And I'm going to remove my USB drive. And I'm gonna change the boot order here so it'll look for Fedora. So I'll go to my NVMe drive and boot option number one. I'm gonna have it as Fedora going to escape and save and exit. It's found the Fedora UFI option and Grub comes up. So I have here Fedora Linux and also as well as Windows Boot Manager. So I can dual boot. I'm going to go into Fedora Linux. Start setup. I'm going to skip Wi-Fi. I'm going to keep the defaults for privacy. And I'm going to enable third-party repositories to have access to additional software. Next, put in my password. I'm going to skip the tour. All right, so Fedora booted up and it's ready for use. And I can hit start and I can go check the different apps I have here. And you can do a search here if you want to install other software, look for software. And you can search for software that you want to install example, Chrome, you can install Chrome. I'm going to open it up. 
All right, so that's how you can easily install Fedora Linux and have it set up as a duo boot with Windows on your computer. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.